So in this session, we are going to create our collage for our final piece. And the collage is made up of lots and lots of different layers of all different materials and objects all overlapping to create uh, some artwork. For our collage, we have got our watercolour background, our carefully cut out animal of our choice on our marbling paper and our animal is very big and we've also got way back in week one or week two where we created our lovely buildings on different paper so we need to now start to assemble and put together our collage we are going to layer and stick our buildings onto the paper and then we need to work out a position for our animal and then finally because the collage is made up of different colours and all sorts I've got some different coloured paper so I've got some dark green and a pastel green bright bold orange and a paler orange, like a peach colour, a bold blue, and a pastel blue. And we are going to be using our colour paper to add different finishing touches. For example, to highlight some of the windows, to add trees, or we could add um, stars in, part of the moon. Okay, so it all depends on how we layer up our backgrounds. So I'll move the colour paper out the way to begin with and I'm just going to start arranging where I would like all of my buildings. And as a bit of a tip, your building doesn't always have to sit on your background. It's quite nice to have it overhanging and then we can cut off parts and that will give the illusion that it's a bit of a bigger skyline. I'm just thinking where I'd like some of my buildings. And this might take you a while to play around with what you've created back in the first week, just to see where they can go. Put this one here come down a tall one popping out here let's move like so so you can see I've got these buildings in the background and they are tucked behind some of these buildings so it means when we are happy with our layout we need to start sticking from the back because if we start sticking from the front it means we won't be able to tuck the other buildings behind so you should have approximately four buildings four to five buildings and if you don't we'll get your teacher just to scan some in and photocopy them because it, the more built up the more dramatic our animal is going to look so that front layer just going to move and we need to stick our background buildings in first and to help me once I move them away I'm going to put a bit of a mark there and there so we know how far down to stick them so now I've got my glue stick this one's going to be my first image to stick in because this one lies on top of it so I'll move that one move this one and I'm carefully going to put some glue all the way around my edges and using my guide going to stick in my building. This is my next building. 
it's just going to be overlapped. And because they are chalky and you've got the oil pastel, some of this chalk might come off. So as a bit of a tip, when we are sticking, we can get some scrap paper, pull it on top and make sure it's stuck so then all of them fingerprints don't end up on our building. So just putting some pressure on to make sure it's stuck nice and neatly okay so now we need to introduce our foreground which is this bit right at the front and i'm just going to position my buildings to remind myself where they were all going and if you can have a mixture of your buildings on the brown parcel paper and on a different paper, or if you've done it all on the same paper, make sure you've got your chalk pastels and your oil pastel examples. Um, something like that. So I'm going to stick this one in and move across. now with them edges trimmed off you can see your artwork taking some shape and by having parts chopped off it gives the illusion that it's built up and a lot bigger okay so now we need to bring back our animal and we need to work out where it is going obviously we're going to keep it the marble side up we're not going to have him that way around and just going to work out where we can place them so once we've found where we're going to place them i'm going to carefully draw around touching the building onto that watercolour background. The reason why is to help us cut out and stick on our animal. And you can see how big the animal is in comparison to all of our pastel buildings. So now we need to cut out our animal. So once we've traced around it, just need to work out So once we've cut out our chosen animal, we can position them and stick them in place. But remember our animal needs to appear really big so in my example here just by comparing the windows to the animal it does look out of place and that is the style we are going for so you have to clear the whole of your animal so mine looks like it's appearing from around the corner of the building you can choose to have half of the face perhaps and part of the body coming into your view you can have it appearing out of the building, okay? So think about the positioning of your animal.